And we're back here on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. Joined now with Thiago Novis, the MSUB men's soccer team. Thiago, what a win today for the Yellow Jackets. You guys uh, struck early, defeated Western Washington 3-1. to one. Uh, Just your overall thoughts on today's win. Uh, I think it was a really good game. They, they were a good team and we knew uh, every, every year we played them in the battle. And coach asked us to start really hard and uh, just play hard and press them. And we just did. It was an overall amazing team performance, in my opinion. Sometimes they had the ball more than us, but I think if you look overall, we dominated and we deserved the win. Now talk about the very first scoring play. It was Ian Bream. He's a freshman on the team this year. He's making his first career start for the Yellow Jackets. Um, and to give you guys uh, an early lead, talk about his finish there. I think Ian is a great player. He, he was his first start today, but every time he comes in the game, he makes an impact. And as a freshman, it's a huge thing for him because if he can perform like that his freshman year, like the future is bright for him. And I think it was a good because he scored early and they opened open up the game for us. And it's really good when he's scoring the, between 10 and 15 minutes, the game changes, the other, the other team gets frustrated. And that's really important. I'm really happy for him. Good cross, good finish and I hope he can keep doing what he's doing. Now that was the first shot that went in the goal, but you were kind of hinting early on that uh, something special was coming for you. You know, you had a couple shots from the right side that were uh, very strong, almost on target, just a little bit over, um, and then of course you, you struck uh, with, with your fourth goal of the season to start things off. Um, talk about how you were feeling good from the get-go. You could just tell yeah. you were locked in. Yeah, uh, I like to play on the wing and as a striker. Like, I can call myself in both positions and whatever position coach needs me I'm gonna I'm gonna give my best and I really like to stay close to the goal I think as I strike I have I'm closer to the goal and I have a good shot and I have my first shot was really close one when I was on my right side and then you know you can feel as a play like okay it, it's on today and I kept trying and I, I was happy to score it was a good finish inside of the box and I could score the second one was really good too but I just think I couldn't do that that work without my teammates they were looking to me every time I was making runs they were playing with the ball so I think it's just an overall team performance. I would just have to score two goals, but overall team performance was amazing. And talk about that first goal a little more. You're saying team performance, it really materialized in the midfield. JD had a nice touch. He got fouled, and there were actually a couple of advantage calls on the play. The ball worked its way out to Flavio, and he had the nice cross to you. Um, why, why are plays like that so important to score for the team? I think JD is a fighter, man. Every, he, he's a good run the ball, and he could without the ball, and he could fight the ball with his head. And I think Nicholas got the rebound and played Flavio, and Flavio had a good 1v1, and he was happy to find him in the box. And I took a touch and I volleyed. I think it was a good finish. You just, you have a split of seconds to think what you're going to do. And I thought the best option was take a touch instead of finish first time. And I was happy to, to score. But without JD, without Nikos and Flat, the ball wouldn't get on me. So that shows again that the, the team was... It was a good play. And now your second goal is one uh, interviewing Coach Balog after the game. He said, this is something you've been working on, a, a, a ball where you get a pass, you have maybe one touch, maybe a first-time effort, and you just have to curl a long shot 20, 25 yards. This time you beat beat the keeper, went around him into the upper V. Uh, talk about scoring a goal like that. Yeah, it, it's, I think that that's what I love to do. I like to, to, to strike the ball. doesn't matter if I'm close to the goal, far away. And I work that a lot. Alex, no, I, I, I love to finish. I think uh, when I'm out wide playing on the wing, I'm more of an assistant crosser to, to Ricardo, to Julian Dragomi. But today playing as a forward, I knew that every ball I get and I turn, if I had that space, I should try it. Because I work really hard on training about with my shots and I was just happy to curl and hit the upper net. And I, I hope I can keep have some more of those next games. But the once again, was a team, was a good play. Guillaume saw me play, I just turned and finished. And one of the things that is so um, encouraging about this team is how it seems like every goal that you score, someone has, a, someone else has a hand in it. Guillaume had two assists today. Uh, talk about him coming in, playing holding midfielder, a more defensive position, but we've seen him on the score sheet with goals and assists now. He's just a very versatile player. Yeah, he's a great player. He came from a different pedigree in, in France, and he, you can see that right away. His touch is different. And I think you can put him as a holding mid, attacking mid, as a winger everywhere. The kid's going to perform because he's quality. And I'm just happy that he keep, keep performing like that. And I hope he don't stop because we need him as a striker, as a winger. If you don't have people to serve you, to assist you, it's, it's just hard to perform. And heavy Guillaume, Nicholas, Adam, 
everyone is just, just pretty good for us. Now two more days until your next game. You'll have a recovery slash training session tomorrow as you get ready for Northwest Nazarene to come in. Uh, some very encouraging things on the road, a 3 nothing win over the Crusaders. Uh, what's your mindset coming into uh, a home game against that team? I think it's going to be a great game. Yeah, we beat them 3 no, but they're a good team. You can, we pressed them high over there and they got scared and we were happy to score. We missed a lot of chances so we could score more goals, but we, we, we can't think that just because we beat them 3 0 over there, it's going to be an easy task here because they're going to come fly. They don't want to lose again. So I think it's going to be a good game, but once again, if we perform our best, no, no one can stop us, in my opinion. The sky's the limit. And the amount of quality we have in this team, if everyone performs, if everyone works hard, we, we go to the national final. That's my thought, and I think that's the way to think. And finally, what are your thoughts on um, the season, the way it's coming together? You guys had an eight-match unbeaten streak. You lost to Simon Fraser, one nothing, a tough game at home. But now you've got to win to get some momentum. Uh, where do you go from here? Winning. I want to win the six or seven games left. Yeah. I want to win every single one of them. Because if we want to achieve our dream, let's go to the national tournament. We have to win every game now. Because teams back in California, in Orlando, in Florida, they winning and. You just have to keep winning if you want to dream big. We just don't want another winning season like last year. We want to do something bigger. And I think that every game is going to be a win. We play like that and we fight and we perform. Just want to six wins and keep playing until December, hopefully. That's Thiago Novis of the MSUB men's soccer team, all the way from Rio de Janeiro. Uh, do you want to say hi to any family members? Uh, it's my dad, my mom, my granddad. He watched the, They all three watched the game. And, just miss them a lot. A couple of years without seeing them, but we're going to pay off one day. Thiago Novis, you can catch him in action on Saturday as the Yellow Jacket men host Northwest Nazarene. That's MSUB Kicks Cancer Day. Stay tuned. We'll be right back to the Yellow Jacket volleyball match here in Alterowitz Gym. MSUB against Concordia set three coming up. <laughs> 